Hey guys, it's Marcus here, and I gotta warn you, today's video is gonna be a little boring. So if you're looking for entertainment type videos that aren't gonna make you any money, you're gonna wanna look elsewhere. The complete guide to getting rich. Hmm. Crap. Crap. Yeah, that's a waste of 13 bucks. However, if you're willing to sit through this video, I'm gonna show you what I think is the easiest, fastest, almost guaranteed way to generate an income online. Yeah, this is the same thing where I invest like 300 bucks and turn it around and make 3,500, 5,000, 10,000 a month or more off that one little investment. Wait a minute, Marcus. Did you say I invest 300 and I'm guaranteed to get 10,000? thousand dollars a month what? of course it's not guaranteed but this is something that's very solid and we're going to look at the data and show you exactly how it works nothing's going to be left out and all i ask is that if you enjoy this video you smash the like button subscribe and check out my other videos sound fair enough well all right then let's get started. Okay, so it's about 9.52 a.m. here in Central Florida, and I'm getting ready for my day. And usually, the first thing I do when I come here in the office is check my numbers. So far today, it looks like we're at about $432.41 on ClickBank using the exact method I'm about to show you in this video. Here's another screenshot where I'm at about $1,625 already before 10 a.m., Here's a domain I'm working on selling that's $1,500. That'll add to the pot quite nicely. And another domain I'm working on as well that's going to sell probably today or tomorrow for about $5,000 as well. Now, that doesn't even include some affiliate programs I have going on, some different stuff I have, which is probably another $1,000 or so, and it's only 10 a.m. So if you like these kind of numbers, pay close attention to every word of this video. Yeah, watch the whole thing at least one time maybe even twice, to catch the stuff you missed. That's how important this is. In order to understand this concept completely, we are going to go back to our magazine here on this page, right here in this little box, where it talks about Bill Gates' net worth of $126 billion. You see, Bill Gates understood something back in the 80s that a lot of people didn't get. Back then, when computers first started to get popular, the big manufacturers thought it was all about the hardware, hard drives, computer RAM, video cards, disk drives. And that's where Gates said, you're wrong. The money is in the software, not the hardware. So he started looking around for companies that had different software and things like that. And he found these guys creating a software called DOS, or disk operating system, which without DOS, our computers wouldn't work the way they work today in any fashion. They wouldn't work very much at all. And so he found this program called DOS and he bought it allegedly for $50,000 and then turned it into MS-DOS for Microsoft DOS. IBM included that on all their computers and when he came out with Windows, instant bestseller. Windows version 1 went on to sell 500,000 copies at its launch, netting Microsoft over $50 million, which coincidentally is about as much as Bill Gates makes every single day here in 2021. Are you saying he invested $50,000, turned it into $50 million, and now he makes $50 million a day? Well, the more important lesson is... The money is in the software, which is what this video is all about. And if you don't know how to code or make software, don't worry, because even Gates didn't code Microsoft DOS. He bought it for 50 grand. But Marcus, I don't have 50 grand. Hell, I don't even know where to plug this thing in. Don't worry about it, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a simple, lean, mean profit machine. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna look at the data and figure out what people want. Primarily little plugins and tools that we can use for WordPress or websites or whatever it is we wanna design. Now, in this example, we're gonna look at WordPress plugins because they sell like crazy, they're easy to make, they're inexpensive, and you can have them up within a week or so. So we're gonna take a look at the data and we're going to find simple 
solutions. Just yesterday, I found a solution to one where they can edit their footer or put a little thing in their sidebar. Something very, very simple, okay? We want to keep this thing very simple, and we want to keep in mind that the money is in the back end and the front end, as Bill Gates found out a long time ago and still reaps the rewards from it today. Now, once we find our simple solution based on the data, and don't worry, I'm going to go over the data in just a minute, we are going to outsource our plugin. Now, what this means is we're going to go find people in other countries that do programming and different things that we can use the plugin from. All right? So very simple. Now, I find that we can usually outsource a simple plugin for about $300. If it's a complicated plugin, we're probably looking at $1,000 or something like that. But again, start simple and build and grow as you go along. And as you do this, you could start a business and actually hire these people full time. Like my programmer, I have full time and, you know, it's not that much money. And he does all the coding and plugins that we need. And I make a lot of money from it. Now, the first thing we need to do here is look at the data and find out what people want. Since we're using WordPress plugins, what I did is take a look at all the words people are looking up on the search engines related to plugins and tools and WordPress and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do here is we can take a look at this one where we have Elementor, Code Canyon, Elegant Themes, Divi Builder, WordPress plans, all kinds of stuff here. Now, what we want to do is take a look at things that people are looking up quite a bit that don't have that much competition that we could actually use. Here's one for Optimize Press, which I believe is some kind of like optimizer for speed. Here's a live chat. Um, Elementor versus Divi, keyword rank trackers, WordPress plugins, forms, all kinds of things. Here's another list I have here where we have some more random ones. Pro advertising, WordPress themes. We could go through and find the ones that have a lot of searches over here in this I column. We could see a premium SEO pack, pop-ups. We got spinners, article spinners, SEO premium, article rewriter, add-ons, and on and on we go. Lots of people are looking up this stuff like crazy, and these plugins are making a fortune, some of them seven, eight figures a year from a simple little plugin. Here's another list here. People are looking up the exact name like Poxa, Rocket, Connect. We got WordPress Crossword. I even found out people were looking for the dinosaur game, and on and on we go. Now, we're going to take a look at these because these are very, very important. Here's some more people looking up Oberlo, WordPress plugins, uh, SA Rewriter, iFrame Generator. That's a simple one. WordPress SEO, e-commerce, Code Canyon, WordPress Forms, WordPress plugin, Page Builder, on and on we go. Bulletproof Security, Dinosaur Game, Fonts, WordPress Forms, Email, Jetpack, look at all this traffic here, WordPress calendar, migration, countdown timer, contact form. Are you getting the idea yet? And just to show you that I'm not blowing smoke, check this out. We got a lot of good stuff here. If we take a look at this here, we have over 5,900 different WordPress plugins on the Envato Marketplace, which is part of Code Canyon. And we can actually go here and do browse bestsellers. And you could see this one has almost a half a million sales, 400,000, 100,000. And you do the math, that's a lot of money there. And this is just on one platform. And check this out. This is a slider plugin, which I have one of these myself. It only costs me about 600 bucks to have built. Menu plugins, add-ons, calendars, and on and on we go. Here's a pop-up one, 40,000 sales. Now, make sure you pay close attention because I'm going to show you how to make money on the back end, which is going to make this seem like chump change. We can also take a look at various themes people are making for WordPress. Here's one with almost a million downloads, another e-commerce theme, and on and on we go. Lots of people downloading lots of stuff for the old WordPress. And according to the Ahrefs keyword tool, which is my favorite, you could see that there's actually people looking for very specific stuff, like MLS WordPress plugin. This is a simple plugin where they put the MLS house listings for realtors on their blog. They're looking for a plugin. That's 200, 400, like 600, actually 900 if you look at the total volume. Where's my brain today? 
realtors a month looking for a plug-in. And here, they're looking for a theme. Another 400 people a month. Yeah, yeah, Marcus, I get it. But aren't themes and plugins super complicated, expensive, and annoying? Actually, they're not. This is a plugin. It's got some folders, it's got some files, and bada bing, bada boom, it's pretty simple. They can take this, upload it to WordPress, and it'll do all the fancy stuff on their site. You could see here on my Affiliate Marketing Dude website, we actually have lots of my plugins from Funnel Voodoo to my Tracker plugin to the Announcer plugin, Button Voodoo, Slide Voodoo, and more. They're super easy to use, they work really good, and more importantly, they're based on things people told me they want to buy because they're searching for them in the search engines. And yes, these files are what make this plugin work. And this is one of my more complicated ones. Some of them are actually really easy, like my tracker plugin that creates little short URLs on my WordPress site. And getting these plugins made is actually a lot easier than you would think. In fact, right now I'm creating a plugin with my team about how to hide the author and the date and all that info on WordPress. Apparently, a lot of people are looking for how to do that. And we could see what that is here. It's like this little stuff up here on WordPress. Pretty simple, right? I don't really know how it gets there, but I know it's there and I know people want to remove it. The rest is up to my programmer. So what I have to do here is just take a look at that and say, okay, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to make a simple plugin. And you can see here that there's over 40,000 downloads, 50,000, 10,000, 6,000, and on and on we go. People downloading plugins that remove the author and the date and all that junk from WordPress in an easy way. So now I have the data and I know this thing will work and I know people want it. What I need to do is I need to decide how I'm gonna make money. Because the author remove plugin is very simple and it's probably not something people would pay for, I'm actually gonna opt for giving this away free. Now you might be saying, Marcus, why would you give this away free? Well, because I want a list of people who use WordPress and wanna do certain custom things on WordPress because then I could sell them my plugins, other people's plugins, software, tools, you name it, I can now use this to drive my money-making empire. Much in the same way that Bill Gates in the beginning gave away DOS free on new computers. Why did he do that? Does he just like to give stuff away? No, he's actually a very smart businessman and he knew people would wanna upgrade, get more options, and he knew when Windows came out, it'd be sold like gangbusters because everyone already had DOS for free and they were hooked on it. And if you have a problem trying to figure out how people get paid giving free stuff away online, I'd like you to take a look at some of the top platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, email, on and on we go. So don't think that giving stuff away can't make you rich because it can. And once we have that set up and we have our plan ready to go, I'm just gonna get a domain name. I'm gonna go over to go hub site.com I'm going to get a domain name about my plugin then I'm going to do some design very simple all I need to do is go into WordPress take a look at how I want this to look so I'm going to use a screen capture software like this here called Snagit I'm going to get a capture you can use the free Windows snipping tool I'm going to get a capture here like this and then I'm just going to tell my programmer what I want the plugin to do so I would say, here's a big arrow, and then I can outline this stuff here and say, I want this plugin to remove this. All right, very simple. So I'm gonna send this image to my programmer. Then I'm gonna go into the back office here, the dashboard, and I'm gonna show them what I want it to look like. So if I want a button to show up here, I'm just gonna get another screen capture, right like this, capture, right here, and I just do this in a very easy way. My programmer is gonna go through and make this fancy, right? So all I would need to do is say down here, so we'll move this down here, Zoop. right like that, move that down there, put some fill color just because I'm a pain in the butt and wanna make it look nice, right? And then we'll go through and we'll say something like remove meta. Okay, shrink it down so it's not gigantic. And we'll put it right like this. Sometimes this program can be a little bit of a pain. 
All right. And we'll make the color white so it stands out. Get rid of the background. And there we go. So we'll have removed meta there, right like that. And then we could just say, hey, in that part, make a little box that says remove data, uh, all posts, some post, or maybe a box where they can put the post. And I'll, I'll just make it very similar to one of my other plugins, maybe like Button Voodoo, where we could go in and say, okay, uh, what does this look like? Right, and then I could say, okay, uh, do we want it on homepage pages or posts? And then that could be the button. Boom, they click it, it removes it, and you know maybe it'll pop this up or whatever. And it's very simple. And then all I got to do is send these screenshots to my to my programmer, and boom, I'm off to the races. Now, in my estimate, I think this remove metadata plugin that's going to remove all that stuff wherever it was over here somewhere. This stuff here. I think I could probably get this one done for like $100, maybe 125 bucks, and it's not going to take that long. In fact, he's working on it right now, and I'll probably have it by Monday. And then once I have it, I can give it away, I can sell it, I can make money, boom, the sky is the limit. So basically, you're just the person who comes up with the ideas and takes them to market to sell them or make money on the back end. And once you have your idea, after looking at the data, we're gonna look at our keyword tools and everything like that. And again, if you want some of the notes from this video, including some of the keyword reports, I'm setting up a brand new site called pluginstrategy.com. At pluginstrategy.com, I'll have this info and some info on a cool course that I'm doing where we're gonna build some plugins together, which is pretty cool. But if you don't have a programmer, don't worry. You can go over to upwork.com and then just scroll down to WordPress developers. You can post your job and the price that you're looking to pay and you'll get people to bid on your job and they'll give you some examples of what they do and you work with them till you get the plugin the way you want, which is pretty simple. Awesome. Now, if you wanna get a programmer like full-time, you can actually go over to onlinejobs.ph. It's a little bit more risky because you have to find a programmer, test them out and make sure everything's working and ready to go. But in the long run, I've had my programmer for over 11 years and he's done a great job and still does work for me today. I also found my site designer on there and lots of other people that do all kinds of work for me in a super easy way and it's very inexpensive. And if you can understand the power of what I just showed you, how you could go out there and create tools in a really easy way, whether it's a WordPress plugin, whatever it is, you can go out there and look at the data and find out what people want have programmers build it for pennies, sell it for dollars, and pocket a lot of cash. And when you go to sell this stuff, you can go to like Envato or other marketplaces. You can sell it on your blog as your own, or you could sell it as part of a membership site like I do, or you could sell them one-off. You can give them away and build a mailing list and then sell other stuff. There's so many opportunities to make money by being a simple plugin developer. It's not even funny. And if you're excited about this type of business model, check out pluginstrategy.com. We'll have some info for that course I'm gonna come out with. And by the end of the course, you're gonna have a plugin and a marketing strategy that you can go and use to start making some money. Or at least that's the idea anyway. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and check out my other videos because we got a lot of cool stuff that'll help you make money. Some stuff even easier than what you just learned.